Hey guys, Billy Bosco here, founder of the Move Me Movement. Today we're going to be installing some solar panels. I have two 100 watt flexible solar panels from Energy. It came with the 200 watt panels. It came with some 16 foot cords. It came with a housing kit, but I ended up buying one off Amazon anyways. And it came with a charge controller. So today we're just going to be mounting the panels to the roof. And then there'll be another video later about how we connect it to the battery. So. Let me show you how it looks. All right guys, so this is the layout I'm gonna go with for the solar panels. It's kind of hard with the ridges I have on the van, so I'm just gonna try to work around it. So the way it's gonna go is, I got this uh, subfloor construction adhesive. I'm going to put it along under the ridges each side, glue that down, hold it down, and on top of that I got this heavy ass internal tape that I'm going to put along the edges to make it extra secure. And I bought this primer for the tape as well. Then connect the wires, two holes down here, into the van we go. All right, guys, I've traced it out. My solar panel is very crudely. Now I'm going to take my adhesive. And I'm just going to go along all the ridges. Just a nice little thin layer on the sides. So let's see how it turns out. Alright guys, so I used the adhesive, I weighed it down, I held it, it feels pretty solid for now. To be extra safe, I got this Eterno tape, which I got on Amazon, I'll give you guys a link in the description, and I'm just going to go over it a lot, just to make sure it really stays down there. Alright guys, be careful putting this on. I did not think it'd be that strong. And once it touches something, it's locked down. So we had a couple misfires, but we learned from it. And it turned out pretty good. Um, didn't really cover any of the solar panels, so that's, that's ideal. It looks white, so it blends in pretty well. And the solar panels feel very, very held down now. So we survived the process. All right guys, so I got my cable set up. I got the box I got off Amazon. I got it lined up right here where it's going. Now all I gotta do is drill a hole that fits these rubber uh, grommets perfectly. So, here we go. All right guys. It all fit, the hole went well, I didn't mess it up, so that's a good sign. Now I just need to cement or glue this onto it, caulk around it, and then feed the wires through, and then we're basically done. As it's taking us all day, but this is finally secured. The wires are looking messy, but they're up here. We'll deal with them later. The last thing we need to do is tape the sides down, and then use some caulk and get under there to make it waterproof, and then then we're officially done.
and I got enough down. There's the tape with the caulking on top. No weak spots showing. Good to go. All right, guys, it took like a good four or five hours. I'm tired, I'm frustrated, but it's done. Everything looks good. I had to take some insulation out, so I probably have to put it back in, but the wires are fed through. It's caulked and it's taped on top. Hopefully it's wired tight. Wires come down. Now all, all I gotta do is put the walls up, then hook the solar up. So, see you guys then. So guys, just a quick little recap of what we did today. We taped the solar panels down, taped them down extra tight. Then we drilled a hole through the bin, put a little rubber guard around it. We fed the wires all the way up and through. And then we just caulked and taped down the compartment for the wiring. That's it, straightforward. Easier than the exhaust fan harder than the vinyl flooring, but still manageable. So, there you go guys.